Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back today on Tinker World. Looks like it's a rainy start for today. And uh, today my plan is to go down into the castle and try to dig out and get a storage system set up. We've really got to get rid of this area. So that's the plan. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to see if I can make another beacon. I've got plenty of uh, iron but I want to bring it all with me. I'm going to make another beacon. I'm going to put haste down there to help, so I can uh, dig out a little bit quicker. That's uh, kind of uh, important. So let's make a beacon. Here we go. We got it. Okay. Let's head on over to the uh, castle. Now, I've been looking at designs online, and I think I'm going to go with the design that Tango Tech has developed recently. Um, it's a very nice design. It's modular. And so I'll be using that as my basis, and I'll put a link to that in the, uh, the description so that you can uh, see it and take a look at it. Maybe you can use it uh, for yourself. Um, one of the reasons why I'm doing this right now is because this is right in the way of everything. All this storage is in the way of what I'm trying to do. So I have to really uh, start to get that configured and working right. So we need to get a beacon in here. I want to get a haste to beacon. Um, and it has to be somewhere so I can get, because I'm going to be make the storage system underground. So I'm going to just blow away this area here. All these little things. I'm going to see if I can fit this beacon in this space. Um, and then we're going to go with a haste too. So I can get down and, and dig a lot. So let me uh, see here. We need to have how much? It has to be 9 by 9 for the first layer. Is that right? So we got the blocks here. Let's see if we can do this hopefully. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And of course it's going to hit our carpet. Which I will take out. Because I'd rather have haste than carpet. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan for the day. Um, yeah, like I say, if you're liking these uh, videos, you're liking Tinker World, please hit that like button. I know that uh, it's not as popular as uh, the Full Craft series, but uh, I really like this more, and it's a little bit more stable, to be honest, so it, it helps out. Um, likes are grateful. I'm grateful for those. Um, any comments you have on this, please let me know. Um, I haven't been able to respond to comments the last few days. I've been actually very, very busy. Um, hopefully today I'll get back and get make sure I get all the comments and respond to all of you who have put them. Because I, I do appreciate those. I do get to read them. They actually pop up on my phone, um, which probably is not a good idea eventually if I start to get to the level that I want. <laughs> but, uh, but for now, I can read them as they come in. I just don't have a chance to respond on my phone. Uh, at the time so yeah okay let me get this uh, beacon done and then I will start to dig okay as I said in the previous video I'm gonna have an area right behind here where behind the staircase where I can uh, go down into the basement area where I want to make the storage system now the storage system it looks like it takes between 10 and 12 blocks of height so I want to dig down a total of 15 past this layer I'm gonna give myself a little space so that's kind of a large area, 15 high. So if we got this here, that doesn't count. So here's where we're going to go down. I have to go down a couple. And I have to basically dig out this area, try to figure out the actual dimensions of this room, which I want to be the same size as the current castle. And then after that, we will uh, dig down all the way down 15 and make it sure we have an open space. I want to decorate the walls, get it looking nice before I start the actual project, okay? So that's the uh, goal here. Let me start this up here. It's going to get kind of dark. But I want to uh, get it dug out, at least get the first like two blocks worth so that I can see what I can see with the uh, size, okay? Let me get that done. I'll be right back. I've dug down the first two layers, mostly of which was dirt, a little bit of stone, but not much. And you can see it burned through my shovel pretty well. So uh, what I did, though, is I did uh, put the edge here for the wall. This counts as two. I said I want to do a 15. That's two. So I got to do 13 more layers down and digging this all out. But this is the general area for the storage room size um, it should be plenty for what I want to do so yeah I think the next step is just uh, the long dig the big dig digging down and then uh, getting it all out of here and then we can actually start the storage system so let me do that let me go down 13 let me put in the walls make sure it looks good put in the floor make sure that looks good and then uh, we're gonna start working on the storage system so back in about an hour I think <laughs> bye I finished working on digging out this area, filling in the walls, making the walls look good. Of course, the edge up there, um, that's something I haven't done because that's actually part of what the, the surface is. So I may eventually, when I get done with this, uh, put some border around this. You can't see that, but that's later. I also uh, did some um, specking out of the regions that I need. I forgot to put torches down here. Um, these are the areas that are required for the modules that are associated with 
the storage system. Okay. Um, basically, if you go through uh, Tango Tech's tutorial, uh, each module is four wide and nine uh, deep. So I said, okay, let me figure out this setting and figure out how I can get this in here correctly. So we have, there's three here, and on this side here we have three more, six more. So six, 12, 15 modules that I've got to work on. So the next step for me is to uh, go and get the resources for this and to really watch the tutorial and figure out how to build it and start to build up the system. Now the floor level I believe will be three or four blocks higher than this because there's some part that's deeper um, for the storage system. So that'll eventually work out too. So I'm going to, uh, like I said, go get everything and start this process. So bear with me. This build is going to take a lot of resources in the redstone category. So what I've done is I've gotten a uh, box here. From what I can tell, I'm going to need a lot of comparators and repeaters. So I got a couple stacks of each, a lot of torches. And this is in case also I need to make more repeaters or uh, comparators. Six stacks of redstone. It's very uh, dropper intensive, so I made six stacks of droppers. Now I may not need that much. I probably won't, but it always hurts to have some more. And I've got a little over a stack of hoppers. I may need to get more of these. Um, I'm still waiting on the iron farm to catch up. So, you know, that's all I have right now. So now I'm going to go back to the storage area and start to lay out the first steps following the tutorial. So uh, when you next see me, hopefully I'll have some of this already done. I'm back down in the storage room. Uh, I started building the first module that was right in this location. And uh, after I got through about half of it, I kind of stopped building and watch the rest of the video only to find out that my spacing, I need to have a space between modules that are right next to each other, which I didn't have. So I had to remap that out and I did that. So now we have all the storage modules in the right positions and same thing down here. Now because I had to add two here, it meant I had to take these modules and back one. Fortunately, it's the exact right size for that to work. So we're good to go as far as that. So then what I did was I just put in the chests so I kind of get an idea of what the room will look like. Now remember, I'm not going to be down at this level. The floor will be up a couple of blocks higher than where I'm standing. You have to go a little bit deeper for the redstone. So I might have some sort of access way back here or something that I can get down in and look at this um, area back here. Also, I'm going to have a lot of dead space here in the corners. And I might use this space. Maybe I'll come down from a tower or something to get into these spaces here that aren't quite going to be used um, with the storage system. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to work on the actual redstone. Um, it's The redstone can be broken down into various steps. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll do a step and I'll do that step for all of these sections so that I know that I am consistent um, so I don't make any mistakes and just keep on working like that until we get the whole thing set up. So let me work on a little bit of this. Let's get some of the setup going here and uh, hopefully we'll get it. If you can see, it's looking really nice. Another progress update for you. I've been going through uh, little portions at a time and making sure I do all the portions on the same modules. These are modules, so you know what I mean. Each each double row or double column of chests is a module. So we have one, two, three, four, five here. We have five here and three there. So we have a total of 13 modules. So I would do every little step and then I would do, do it for all of those. And then I would do the next little step and do it for all of those. So now, basically, everything is, uh, they're linked up hopper-wise. Now, obviously, we don't have the drop dropper elevators hooked up. We don't have the uh, hoppers going into the chest yet. We don't have the, the redstone that goes up to run everything. None of that's in, but we have the modules are connected up. So right here, this center line really is uh, where there shouldn't be anything else. But what happens is, is this is the output line. You can see it goes in and goes over to the input line of the next module. And the same thing over here in the corners. In the corners we have the same thing going out, going around, and over and in. So the functionality of this as far as like linking them up is all in, in place. So I'm going about this as fast as I can, but now that we're going to be going a little bit higher up, um, it's going to be a little harder because I'm going to do a lot more scaffolding. This was fairly easy. This part wasn't as much, but a lot of this running of hoppers was kind of easy because we're still on the ground. So I'm going to continue on. Uh, I believe the next part we're going to be doing is actually working on getting the hoppers and everything set up for the uh, chests, and then we're going to start to work on the redstone going to power those. Uh, once it gets all done, then I'll have some to do some filling of the chests and get this thing working. Okay, we're getting a lot further. It's looking a lot better. Looking a lot better. Um, I've added some of the circuitry here for 
the hoppers. So the next step, I think, in the video, I think we're going to put in the dropper elevators over here. And then we have a torch tower system on the back here, which will cause it to uh, function the way it's supposed to. And then once I get done with that, then all I have to do is I have to put items in the chests and get them kind of prepped. And I also want to make this place look a little bit better. Um, but it's getting there. It really is getting close. So, yeah. Um, the other thing that's been kind of a problem is that even though I've been trying to light this up pretty well, there still are some dark spots. And I've had uh, a couple of creepers have popped up. Uh, fortunately, I was able to kill them before they would get to me. Um, so nothing's really happened. But... Uh, it's a little scary, so I'm just I'm staying against this wall. So if it does, it happens over there, and I can probably see them and take them out. Okay, let me get started on the uh, dropper vaders. All right, we did it. The system is pretty much all ready to go. On this side over here, I hit that ladder by accident. On this side here will be the input. You can see it's kind of like a storage system of chests goes down in here, and this goes into the system. So the whole entire system and anything that doesn't get sorted will end up here in this chest. Now I might make some uh, like uh, a storage area or something like that for, for that sort of thing. Also for un uh, like non-stackable items, they would end up there as well. That's okay. Um, anyway, over here um, we have these hoppers. Okay, hoppers basically um, are for if I want to. I'm gonna put some chests on here, which I forgot to do. Basically, what this is is that if I want to bypass this point. Let's say I wanted to, you know, I knew that what I'm adding is uh, wood, and I know wood's over here. It's not through this section. I don't have to start it here. I can have a chest here, which kind of inserts it in line right at this point before this particular uh, module. See what I'm saying? So I think the next step here is I want to just kind of make this look a little bit better um, so that I can get down here and everything. And then after that, we're going to start to populate this. So let me uh, make this look a little bit better. Well, it's the next morning. I didn't get this video out, nor did I get it finished the way I wanted to. So I'm uh, starting off kind of fresh. I apologize for the morning voice. So uh, I did put in an, the floor, and if you have the ladder, I can get up there. And uh, yeah, it's about ready to start. This will be where the input is, and over here would be output. This is something that overflows kind of area. Now, here's the thing, the way this works is you have to put inside of the chest, you have to put the items that you want. So like for instance, I have this oak wood here and you just spread it out. Oops, that's not what I wanna do. Do it that way. Like that. So you would put them all in, you have to fill every spot. Once you have every spot filled, what'll happen is when this uh, sorting system goes through and tries to find a place for it, it'll say, hey, look, there's an open spot, I'll add to that. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go through the stuff that I have in all of my chests and get it into here and fill up every spot that I can to figure out where things go. So for instance, I'm going to put, the way I'm going to do things for wood as an example is that the oak logs, I'll put this in here, get in there, there it goes. Oak logs will be in here, oak planks will be here, and then all the rest of the oak stuff will be in this column. Okay, so all my wood side will be right here, and then we'll have... Uh, the next thing on here will be spruce. So if we go over to spruce here, I got some spruce wood. Uh, we'll put one in here and we'll just go through this. And there we go. So we'll just do this real quick. And that way we have all the things that we need. Um, and then of course I can just start adding spruce wood into this like that. So let me uh, do all the wood at least. I may have to go gather some wood, uh, but I want to at least get these chests filled up with the uh, actual actual wood not the planks so that we can get this started to do, uh, be what I want okay so let me start doing some filling it out of this section most of the wood is in place um, I don't have a lot of oak I got a lot of spruce I don't have any birch at all like wood I have some I have a lot of birch planks though from the mansion some of the others I need to get more resources for uh, spruce I mean uh, dark oak we don't have a, all the, fill up all the wood but we have tons of planks and tons of everything else. What I'm doing right now is, as you can see here, I don't have like, like all the fences, so I thought, well, I just will make some up since I've got all of this here is just stacked with uh, dark oak. So I'm just going through and I'm just making more of the fences and I'll go over and put them into there, just manually putting things in so that that way I have it ready to go. Now my typical layout for the oddball things, I've got the actual wood, then the planks, and this is everything else. I'm gonna have two rows of slabs, two rows of stairs, mostly fences, and then a, a stack of gates and a stack of doors. And then the rest of it I don't really need. 
Um, so that's the way the wood section is going to be. So I'm right now just going to try to fill out what I've got and then I'm going to go out and probably go get some more birch and some more of the wood that I need so that I can try to at least get the spots filled up. Uh, and once that's done, then we'll uh, move on to something else. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, it's kind of nice watching it uh, work because I have tested it a few times and it seems to be working fine. So let me uh, fill this all out and we'll be back. The wood section is done. Wood, planks, all the others. And I have in each of these spots, I have the spots done. I got to fill in these two right here with oak. That shouldn't be that hard. Uh, let's do that right now. Do I have enough oak? I do. Take one out. Okay, let's first of all, let's make oak doors. It's pretty easy. Just grab what you need. Um, and I have these filled out, so it should work pretty much easily. So put those right there. And I also need to make an oak fence. I have some spare sticks up here, so we'll just make an oak fence gate. And there we go. So everything is set up. All of these have what they need. Looking really good. Okay, so I'm going to make this column right here be all the other oddball wood things. Signs, uh, sticks, torches, that sort of thing. Wood. And then we're going to start to go into the stone set. So I'm going to keep on repopulating this. And uh, it's getting there. I've been slowly getting the stone items in. We got cobble, andesite, granite, and diorite. And on the opposite side, it's kind of like the refined version of that. So cobble will be stone. And the rest of these will be polished, andesite, granite, and diorite. Now I have dirt and grass here, and I have gravel and sand. And so I've been clearing out my storage that's been up here in the castle, and I've also been clearing out the storage that's over in the uh, my little campsite. So we're doing really well on that. So the next column here I think is going to be things like the uh, stone slabs and uh, stone walls and that sort of thing. Uh, stone brick, um, what have you. So i got to figure this out. I'm slowly going through this. I'm going to keep on going for a while and then, um, you know, I'm getting close to running out of time for this video. So let me go a little further and see how far I can get before this video ends. I'll probably have to do the rest of it in another video. Um, so let me uh, just keep on going. I just want to show you that, that this is working out really well um, and it's sorting just how I want. I think this will be the final progress clip for today. Uh, most of these columns have been filled up. All the chests have been filled correctly. Of course, I haven't filled all of these over here. Uh, for instance, like the, the smooth sandstone and sandstone and that thing. So, oh, wrong button. So I still have to fill them in and figure out what I want like in these squares. So it works up to this point uh, and that's okay. So I've got most of the stone, uh, like weird stuff, you know, the, the slabs and the uh, cobblestone and things. And then we got some of the stuff from the nether. And I have, like I said, three chests here. I don't have anything. And then I started doing redstone items. Now, for instance, like this says repeater, I share it with repeaters and comparators. So th that's fine too. Uh, pistons will be the same thing. And this will be more redstone items. Then over here in the center, I'm going to put my uh, valuables. And I have almost a full chest of uh, diamonds there to fill out plus a little bit. And emeralds, just got one extra, so that's good from the villager trading station. I'm doing gold and I'm also putting nuggets. So when I get enough nuggets, I'll make them into gold. And the same thing with iron. I have blocks, iron bars, and nuggets. Okay. And we'll do the same thing with lapis. And of course, you can't do anything with ender pearls. But that's the idea. Now eventually, on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot of the colored items. We have, you have all the various dyes and the plants that make the dyes or whatever ingredient makes the dyes. You have the various forms of glass and glass panes. You have wools and the various colors of wool. You also have the uh, hardened clay or terracotta and those blocks, the glazed ones, I think, I believe they are. So there's a lot of stuff over here that'll be more of the colored area that I'll be doing, okay? Now back here is, uh, you see these shulker boxes along the wall. What these are are uh, anything, that one's empty actually, is uh, like for instance stone. I've completely filled up the stone area over here in this chest right here. So this is extra stone and extra wood and things that I have extras of. Now once I have a, know that I have enough of something and I fill this whole section, I'll then make more. For instance, if I need stone slabs, which I don't have the whole thing, I will use that stone and fill that out and try to make the parts that I, to, to basically try to complete full chest if I can from this backup storage. These chests down here are just some odds and ends that I haven't put a place for yet. Boats and you know little things like that. Stuff that I haven't really found a place for yet, but I know I will soon. Okay, so that's that's kind of where things are at. Now this has been very beneficial because it's helped me to clear out the space uh, that I, that's been taking up space in our storage here in the center. Um, 
These three are just wool, wool blocks, red carpet, and other carpets. And that shouldn't go there. Let's put that in the blocks. There we go. Um, this one is just some flowers and some odds and ends. Some more odds and ends. And this is mostly just all glass. So we know where that is. And if we head back over to the uh, main base, uh, I'll show you what's left over there. We, I mean, we saw some chests and things, but it's really starting to uh, disappear, which is good. I really want to get all of that done and gone. So if I go over here, you can see uh, the, the smelters there, but uh, these bank of chests are right here, which were, uh, if you recall, they were wood, redstone, nether, and then all the stone stuff are gone. This has filled a lot of the odds and ends, junk drawer type stuff. You know, rail, like I do something with rails, um, packed ice sort of stuff. This is fish and water bottles, more fish. You know, so it's mostly just the odds and ends that I have to clean up, which is just about it. Okay, and one last thing. I'm not sure. I went over here to go AFK for a little bit when I went to lunch, and it's like, okay, let me go uh, sit at the fish farm where it's secure. And I walk in this door, and it's like weird. It's like everything disappeared. My circuitry and stuff is gone. I don't know if this was a corrupted chunk or not. My bed was here, but it was only half of a bed. So I'm assuming it was just something got corrupted. And that's okay. I'm going to be redoing the fish farm anyway. Um, so, you know, and I might put it someplace closer to the, to the um, farms and that sort of thing. So I can go AFK and still get the farm um, loot. So I think that's all I'm going to call for today. That's it. So uh, I hope you like this video. You can see where things are going with the storage system. Once we get done with that, we're going to start working on making the castle a little bit better. So if you like this video, please click that like button. I can't stress how important that is. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that you get all the notifications. Also, uh, I know that uh, a lot of times there are ads that are put onto my videos. If you don't mind watching uh, through those, it gives me actually more credit than just skipping them. And if you know, don't you don't have to obviously, but it would be very helpful if you would, um, at least for for me, it helps to support me a great deal. Uh, I will be streaming tonight at eight o'clock on twitch.tv slash tinker seventy seven live. Today is Tuesday, the twenty fifth of July, so I'll be streaming at eight o'clock. And I uh, hope you will join us there. It's a lot of fun. We'll probably be working more on the castle. So again, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.